Hello, hello, hello. How are you, everyone? Welcome to Coffee Break with Tarot by Laura. Today is a Wednesday, and of course, today we're doing different oracles. And um, I like Wednesdays. I like doing oracles. Uh, they're very fun. They're, they're so much fun. And uh, today I'm doing, I'm going to be using um, two of my favorite, of course, um, Stacy DeMarco, the Halloween Oracle. I just can't get enough of these images. They are so beautiful. And I really like what she likes, what she likes. I really like what she writes. Hi, Lourdes. I really, really like how she writes her oracles, and um, I still, I, I already have the new one, the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy. I want to study that one a little bit more before we keep using it for these sessions. I also have, I also have my headphones here in the way, I also have the Celebration of Love Oracle for today. And as usual, pair or Wednesday sessions, we have the Four Agreements Oracle with the Four Agreements from Don Miguel Ruiz. I like this Oracle a lot too. I hope everybody's doing okay. I was working a lot on my website yesterday, so if you haven't visited my website, please do please do it. I work really hard on uh, setting up all the events and, and everything on the calendars. It really is a pain in my behind, but um, it keeps it up to date for people that um, probably are not following the Facebook page a lot. And it helped me keep kind of like things in order and perspective. So, um, this Friday I'm going to be at La Catrina from 1 to 5, as usual. Um, over the weekend, I'm free this weekend. It happens. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes I'm free on the weekends and uh, I'm doing personal um, shenanigans, you know. And then on Tuesday, the 19th, we are back. We open house here in Chicago. And that is from 1 to 5. Um, and, of course, we have some time to have appointments for next Thursday as well. Um, so for everyone that wants to have a reading, I was saying yesterday I also do live uh, online readings. And uh, hi, Elizabeth from Venezuela, I think. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for joining. And, um, you know, I really wanted to have rings and I left my other rings on the, on the kitchen. And these rings are just not doing it. They're a little uncomfortable. Anyway, let's get down to business and pull our first Oracle card for today. Oh, I was telling you, I also do online and uh, buy Skype or Messenger readings. Um, so if you're ever interested, if you're not in Chicago, or if you're in Chicago but you don't feel like coming to see me in person, we can do um, Messenger or Skype. I don't do over the phone because I lose half of the body language conversation hi gemini how are you honey oh all those hearts thank you thank you thank you i love those hearts on uh, instagram they look so cute because they're colorful not that i don't like the hearts in facebook but the hearts on instagram are very very cute all right let's see what Let's see what of uh, today we have remembrance the lamp. So this is the Stacy DeMarco Halloween Oracle. 
I don't care that we are not on Halloween time. I like the Oracle a lot. So the lamp remembrance. Let's see what this has to say. Uh, I light a single candle within a lamp for you. A single flame in the darkness that reflects my heart. So true. This card reminds us that it is a positive thing to remember those who have passed by celebrating their life rather than mourning their death. For those with whom we did not have an easy relationship, or even those we did not like, leave us with valuable lessons. Sometimes we learn more from our nemesis than we do from our friends, and so the darkness can illuminate our strengths and our true values so that we can live them more clearly and fully. So there you go. There you go. Remembering those who have passed and lighting a candle. Why not? It's a good practice. Um, I saw a meme yesterday about <laughs> the relationship we have. Uh, we are looking for deities and we are looking for orishas and we're looking for um, external foreign inf energies to influence us, and we tend to forget. We have our ancestors. We all have our ancestors. Of um, As I learned from Reverend Selena Fox, uh, those connections can be of land, of tradition, lineage, and of course, blood. Um, but we can work with all kinds of ancestors. And I'm not saying working with deities is not good. I mean, you do you. Absolutely, it's between you and the divine. Um, but let's remember our ancestors, and not only on the Halloween time. I mean, I would love to be remembered all year round, not only on Halloween time, or Samhain, or Dia de Muertos, you know? Day of the Dead, for those who don't understand Spanish. I think everybody knows what Dia de Muertos is. By the way, is Dia de Muertos... Saying Dia de los Muertos is... It's not, it's an accident of translation. I will go into that on Samhain time. <laughs> but it's the other muertos. All right. And look at that. Celebration of love brings us empowerment, peaceful dreaming, and a beautiful, beautiful unicorn. I just thought of my friend Aaron because we cheesy things like that we used to say all the time all of the cheese so cheesy so the unicorn of empowerment has of course a message and let's see what that message is okay glasses so I can read oh I look so serious Um, empowerment. You are being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something. You are being inspired to let go of that illusion and to celebrate your divinity and how the creator or creatrix um, wants only the best for you. I repeat, special message. You are being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something. You are being inspired to let go of that illusion and to celebrate your divinity and how the divine wants only the best for you. So there you have it. Empower yourself. Um, that self-worth issue really is a problem, an epidemic. <laughs> you are worth. You are enough. You are love. You are good at what you do. All of us have this uh, silly imposter syndrome. Forget about that. We all have abilities and we all have traits that are amazing and we are unique and this or uniqueness that makes us worthy. And if somebody thinks you're not worthy, then they can walk out of your life. We throw that term, right? Toxic relationships so loosely. Let's really cut off those toxic relationships and among those toxic relationships will be people who tell you that you're not worthy what <laughs> that says more about them than it says about you 
you are loved. That's why I tell you all the time, you are loved. Because we need to be reminded. And we need to remind everyone all the time. Um, that we live in love. And there are times, that doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time. You know. But that you love yourself. It's so complicated. Okay. The four agreements. The four agreements says two cards. And one came from the don't take anything personal agreement. And the other one from the don't make assumptions. So I will read the don't make assumptions first. Here it is. That's clear. Okay, don't make assumptions. Be aware of unconscious assumptions. Yeah, give me a tongue twister. I'll be doing so good. <laughs> assumptions I made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that if people love us, they should know what we want or how we feel. No, even psychic people need to be guided. Assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that if people love us, they should know what we want or how we feel. That, hello, oh, Jose, my shy girl, baby, my Rosé, I love you. So let's not assume that people can read our mind and let us ask questions and also allow others to ask us questions. It is beautiful. I was telling a client the other day, we all want to be paid attention to oh. and asking questions to your friends, to your lovers, to your spouse, to your, I don't know, even the People that shine your shoes. I don't know. Everybody likes to be asked. How you're doing? How was your day? What do you like? What do you don't like? Blah, blah, blah. Let us communicate, people. That is amazing. So the next agreement and our last card for today. Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. Look at this beautiful cattle lilies in there. Become immune to poison. And the message is... The whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Of course, don't take anything personally. The whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. So there you have it. That is the um, second card from the Four Agreements. And with that, we conclude today's session. Thank you, Rosé, my shy girl. I love you. Rosé says I needed that reading today. And Anne-Marie is giving us colorful hearts here on Facebook. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone that joined today. A dear friend of mine showed me a long, long time ago that when we do the hand gesture, the prayer hands, uh, to send gratitude with our thoughts, with our word, and with our heart. And with that, I bid you goodbye today. Never forget, you are loved. You are loved. <laughs> of course, when the message are similar, when the message is true, it comes from different sources and it's like the same thing again and again. I'm saying this because Rosé is commenting here on Facebook, on uh, Instagram. So similar to the cards I read this morning. And um, and yes, when the message is um, from different sources and is similar, you can tell right there that is, of course, the same one. So thank you everyone for watching. Yes, uh, Rosé, that was for agreements. And uh, so today we use the four agreements. We use the celebration of love. And we, use, we also use the 
Halloween Oracle. If you didn't cut the beginning of this video, of course it will be uploaded and then you can watch the whole thing later. Never forget that you are love. Goodbye, my loves. Goodbye, Facebook. Ciao, ciao. See you next week. And goodbye, YouTube. See you all next week.